Have you ever had a time where you thought you were going to die? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, oh yeah. Let's hear um, it. Well, I didn't think I was going to die, but I should have died. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, Same thing. I was racing my brother home uh, from a convenience store, and we used to always race home. We lived on a busy street, uh -huh. and then our house was, you had to cross the busy street and go up this driveway, and my mm -hmm. brother was just older and he was stronger. So mm -hmm. I'd always do better than him getting to, but then we had to wait for the traffic, and then he would beat me up the hill. So we were racing home. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look over my shoulder, make sure nobody's coming, you know, and then I'll cross the street before him, then I'll be fine. So that was my thing. And I was so focused on doing it. I looked over. I swear to God, I thought I looked. Yeah. There was nobody there. I went out, went right in front of this guy driving a Jeep. And all I heard was, and next thing I was like upside down. Oh, and I, I, I remember seeing the bumper. It's weird, the vivid snapshot. Sure. The tire, the bumper, and I felt the heat of the engine. And then it was just, just. Knocked out, and I woke up like I don't know how much longer later, but I was laying across the double lines, and I was, <laughs> and I was so I got up. My bike was all mad. I wish I had video of it. How the fuck I didn't go underneath it? Well, and yeah. I got up, and I ran to the sidewalk, and like the biggest guy you ever saw in your life got out of this jeep, jeep, just crying like, "Oh my god, <laughs> I killed a kid." Oh. Yeah. yeah, and and uh. And he came up to me and he was like holding me up and shit. And I was going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because I was just thinking my dad's going to kill me because my bike was all fucked up. guy's like, I'll buy you a new bike. And I'm so sorry. You just came out. And I was just like, and um, all I remember was that happened on a Thursday, a Wednesday. Because the doctor said I didn't have to go to school for the next two days. So I didn't have to fake sleep. And all it was was like, I got hit right in the temple. And if you bite down in your back teeth, that thing goes in and out. Yeah. So it hurt to chew. So I had to eat with a little spoon for like two days. Uh -huh. But I didn't have to fake sick. So it was kind of <laughs> cool. How did you not and I got like, a four-day weekend out of it. Nice. Did you get broken bones or anything? No, I got hit in the head. And then what was hilarious was um, the ambulance showed up. And there was a shit hospital near us. So my mother's like, yeah, he's not going to that hospital. And she sent him away. Uh -uh. And then I took a cab in town to Children's Hospital, which is uh -huh. one of the best ones ever in Boston. Uh -huh. So we went into there. And the whole time she wouldn't let me go to sleep because she knew I had like concussion. You know, well, yeah. she didn't know what was going on. So she was just like, stay awake, stay awake. And I'm like, I just want to go to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tired. I got hit by a boss. Yeah. And that was yeah. another time, the first time and only time I ever went skydiving. Oh my God, yeah. you went skydiving? He likes skydiving. Yeah. I'm never going to do it. It was a static line jump, so you're hooked up to the thing. So you oh, don't okay. have to pull the chute. And it was a one-day course. And the command was sit in the door, get out, go. So when you got out, I still remember how to do it, right? They had, they had a little fucking square plate like for you to stand on over the wheel. It's like a little Cessna, you know, yeah. fucking yeah. Yeah. Right? piece of so shit. You, you fucking stood like this. Mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> it was like sit in the door, Get out like this, and then he hits yeah. you go, and then you're supposed to go like, yeah. It was arc one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Look, if nothing, look, reach, pull. Yeah. Because if you didn't look down, you'd be like flailing like that, yeah. right? So, one day training, he goes go. First of all, he said sit in the door. I thought he was saying close the door, so I was trying to close it. And he was just sort of smiling at me, like what the fuck are you doing? Then I finally get out there, and he goes go, and I let go. And I, I don't know, I tried to like grab for something and I started doing front flips as my chute was coming out. Dude. And I felt I felt it I felt it go by my leg and it I was like, Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm gonna be like a fruit roll up in this thing. I'm not gonna be able to <laughs> no. I'm not gonna be able to pull the thing. And somehow I, I was so lucky. It just It just flipped around and you got I have no fucking oh idea. My oh my god. god. Pepperell, uh, Massachusetts at that airport up there. So I was fucking I would shit my pants. So the thing was too was hilarious shit. was they like had shit like shit would be in my pants. When, when you when you had to pull the toggles, they go make sure you pull them all the way down to your knees, right? So there was this big girl in class and she could fucking get them over. She landed across the street in a pile of loom, like dislocated her knee. Oh. I mean it was like they why he had us watch this whole video. And then in the end of this whole thing, you had to sign a thing that you wouldn't sue him if you died and shit. What? So. Yeah, it's a full-on release. They're yeah. not responsible for shit. You sign a thing saying if you die, they're Yeah, not... but you can still sue them. It's bullshit. It's yeah. like a fucking prenup. They can still get your house. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bullshit. Dude, Dead. I had a similar experience. It was my second time. It was on my birthday. My buddy got me the things. Like, come on, man. Fucking gonna go for your birthday. I'm like, all right, dope. So this is the second time, so I know what's going on. I know what to expect. And it's tandem. The instructor's oh, no, on yeah. my on my back. We're, on, we're out there, okay, we're 10,000 10, feet. Jesus you know, one, Christ. Two, That's high as fuck, I know, right? You know, one, one, two, three. Okay. And I'm, you, 
the best feeling in the world, right? When you just like you feel like you're flying. Like, no, it was not fun because my, <laughs> mine was I was doing front flips. And then the second it was over, yeah. then when the shoot was out, you just felt you couldn't tell you were moving. When the shoot's out, you feel like you just like just you're just sitting there in the air. And it's not until the tree line starts coming, like oh fuck, we're really moving. And yeah, yeah. So, face not, so not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> um, I think that what he did. And you, you go, you go with a, somebody else. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. Free falling. I'm like, this is fucking insane. And all of a sudden, the the the, th the one thing you never want to hear from your instructor, who's fastened to you on your back, is fuck. I go, I go, I look like this, and he's the fucking shoots out, but the lines are all fucked up, and oh, I see yeah. him. He's got the lines and he's fucking yanking on him like this, and I'm and I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna fuck. This is it. Yeah. yeah. And at that moment, I was like, Is there anything I can do? Yeah. <laughs> can I <help laughs> can I you? shake my shoulders <laughs> and make that shit happen? Yeah. Dude. And at that moment, I like, you know, I was scared as fuck, and then a, a couple seconds later, I just went, you know what? This is it. I'm gonna just fucking enjoy this all the way down till I get just poosh on the ground. You have such a great no, but mentality. I was just like, I'm just gonna like, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the time. But I'll never forget that. You would never want to hear your instructor. That's pretty say, impressive Fuck. that that's where you went mentally. Because I, I had a buddy I would of mine. Not do that. I had a buddy of mine that happened to another comedian, and he was on the ground crying in the fetal oh. position <laughs> afterwards yeah. for like I don't know a how day. many minutes. Because <laughs> what happened with them? The same thing happened where the guy went, "Oh fuck." And he looked back like that too. As the guy looked back, which fucked up their balance, and then they started spinning. Oh. He, 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 the whole thing. And the guy finally was able to, to pull the reserve shoot. <laughs> oh my god! I have way too I much anxiety. I remember a buddy of mine who that. passed away, uh, Patrice O'Neill, funniest dude ever. He oh. teased him so fucking bad, because he was telling the story. And we were all listening. He was on the ground crying. And he's just like, "You fucking bitch!" And he just started <laughs> trashing him and shit.